What's up my Taylor family? I know, I know it's been 10 months, almost an entire year. That is insanity. Um, I can't believe that time has flown that fast. So much has happened, so much has, change has come about. Um, and I will have a dedicated YouTube video for that very soon. But in the meantime, I just wanted to get into this look, y'all. I wanted to show y'all this absolutely gorgeous look that we created in this YouTube video. It came out so beautiful. I really miss y'all. I hope y'all miss me too. I love y'all and I promise you, this is the start of me getting back into my content. Today, I used the Boli Butte Wild Side Palette. I used her eyeshadow palette as well as the Wild, um, Wildest Dreamy Palette Liner Palette. This look came out absolutely freaking gorgeous. I love everything about it. Make sure y'all go purchase and make sure y'all use my code TMJ at checkout. Okay? Keep on watching. Wait, wait, wait. But don't go any further unless you like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I right, hit that good old notification bell. You do not want to miss what your girl got coming next. <laughs> Keep on watching. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're gonna jump straight into it because I gotta get this look done pretty quickly. But I'm really excited. It's been two months. Let's um, catch up. <laughs> So I don't have my milk makeup primer anymore. I'm all out and I haven't been in the store to get any more. So we're using a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I'm gonna be jumping like all over with the skin. I'm not gonna be doing a detailed skin tutorial, but I will be back with updated skin because my makeup has changed a lot in the last 10 months. I look really good it's not all cakey and yeah, why not I'm gonna upload a separate to like video not a tutorial but a separate video just telling y'all what's been going on with me where I've been what happened in the last 10 months introduce you to some new people <laughs> to a new person <laughs> that YouTube hasn't never necessarily met yet I'm really excited to introduce y'all to somebody that I fell in love with right away And that y'all gonna fall in love with too. Right when I'm done, I'm gonna jump into um, a video, introduce y'all to my love of my life, the newest love of my life, um, and tell y'all what's been going on with me. I would love for y'all to tell me what's been going on with y'all though. I know I missed a lot too. Y'all ain't just missed a lot, I missed a lot as well. I just know some of y'all have babies. Some of y'all got married. Some of y'all had some career changes. And I wanna know all of it, okay? If you have me on Facebook, you already know what's happened and what's been up to date with my life. If you follow me on Facebook or Instagram. But if you're just solely on uh, YouTube, then you don't know what's going on. Cause I may be crazy. I may be crazy. Possibly. I'm using so many different brushes right now. Because the two main brushes that I use are I have one, but the other one is in my makeup room. I mean, in my room, I have to wash it. Cause I may be crazy. I may be crazy. All right, where's my blush? I see you hiding. I see you hiding. I love blush like that kid I love corn that's how I feel about blush what do you like about it it's corn right it's blush it adds warmth to your face it makes you look all young and cute <laughs> it just makes you look so lifelike <laughs> if you want that mention use blush <laughs> No way. 
No way. Mm -hmm. Thought it was at least 20. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? You should be down to 20. With the skin? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no later than 25 for sure. Because you know I got a set and all that too. No, it's going to be all out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your tail up. And then it wasn't even all that great. Y'all, how y'all used to toot me up like that? Like, when I looked at that video that I posted 10 months ago, and that was 10 months ago. Y'all been on this journey with me for like six years. <laughs> I'm so upset with y'all. I'm so upset. <laughs> Some of y'all used to call me out and I used to be like, be quiet. I know what I'm doing. I want to formally apologize right now. <laughs> Mark today, December 17th. <laughs> you were right, girl. <laughs> you were right. You probably just didn't come up, didn't say it the right way. You didn't give constructive criticism. You was just cr construct, I mean, criticizing me, okay? <laughs> yeah, I just use regular translucent powder to set my under eye. Yo, my brows are going out like this. I do not like to do super sharp, like snatched brows. I like to keep them light and fluffy because they're not done. And I'm just not gonna get a super snatched brow when they're not done like this. The most I can give is fluff, okay? Unless you want the top to find, then I can get snatchness on the top. When you do your eyebrows, you gotta do a little bit of, you don't have to, but you can choose to do a little bit of concealer if you want your brows to look really clean. We're just priming our eyes, y'all. We almost done. We are at the finish line. Whoa. I'm gonna prime my under eye too. When you're doing under eye shadow, please prime your under eye. Please try it at least once. I promise you won't regret it. I promise. You will never regret it. You will do it for the rest of your life. For the rest of the of your life, okay. I've been priming my, my under eyes for years now, so some of y'all probably already know about this little this little thing right here. But the ones I don't know, now you know. We're going to use our Wild Side Eyeshadow Palette by Believe Beauty, Beauty by Melissa Creation. I'm also going to use her Wildest Dream, Wildest Dreamy Liner Palette. Ow, just smack myself in the side of the head. Anyways, I'm gonna use these two palettes today and we're about to do something super cute. Let's see what we're gonna come up with. Ooh, purples, pinks, and blues. Okay, but it's, is it winter yet or is it still fall? Ooh, y'all, I'm gonna use this blue shade out of the palette. I'm gonna hold the palette up so y'all can see. I'm gonna use this blue shade. I don't know what color else color I'm about to use, but we're about to use something cute. Y'all yeah, know anything I do, most of the time it's gonna have this dark blue. I love blue. Blue is my favorite color. Blue's been my favorite color since I was a kid. Like this dark blue. I'm gonna use this teal color. This is in the shade Atlantic, Atlantis. This color is so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. See, colors like this excite me. I'm just stacking each color on first and then we're gonna blend them all out once I'm done. But do y'all see the pigment on these palettes? Oh my gosh, okay. This is so cute. All right, the final color that we're gonna use on the lid is gonna be girl, well, not final color, but we're gonna go into girls that get it. Oh yeah, this is cute. And then I'm gonna go into a light pink in the very inner corner. And then I'm gonna do the same colors for the lower lash line or under the eye. Okay, for the inner corner, we're gonna do a light pink. Azalea, Azalea, I'm not sure, but this is cute. Not sure how to say the name of this color, but it's Gorge. 
And it sounds like my daughter's name. That is cute. Okay, okay. <laughs> all right, let's start to blend all these colors together. I'm gonna go into Azalea and Girls Who Get It, the two sh lighter shades, and I'm gonna go right in between them and just blend them together. Using, I'm mixing the two colors on the brush to like get that seamless blend. Look at the difference. The girls who get it, get it, okay. Watch how this just transforms real quick. Boom, boom. We're gonna blend each of these shades together. I'm gonna take the, the teal and the dark blue and I'm gonna just blend those together. It's gonna create this, oh, look at how pretty. Look how pretty that is. All right, and the last two shades are Girls Who Get It and Atlantis. Oh, that creates a really beautiful shade too. This is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness. The color payout in this palette is absolutely insane, okay? All right, let's blend that teal up, Atlantis. All right, I'll clean my brush off and just lightly Blend this out. This is freaking beautiful. Oh my goodness. Everything in me wants to take the wildest palette and find the same exact color and just do like the same effect with the same colors with like a negative space. We're gonna see if we can find them. Um, The dark blue is here. Maybe I'll do it in reverse. So the dark blue is there a teal color in here no but that purple is here and then for the light pink i don't see it so let me see if i have the teal color which i do so i have the teal color and then i'm going to see if i have that light pink shade in the very inner corner which i don't see it but i think i could probably just mix this pink and this white in this palette to make the light pink shade so i just need the teal shade out of the out of um, here, but I'm pretty sure I could have just mixed this dark, this green and this blue to create the teal. I might try to do that, let's see. I'm gonna mix the blue out of this palette with a darker like purplish color that I have so that it has that purple undertone to it because I want it to be a little darker than what the color is in this palette. No, I didn't quite create that teal color. These colors are a little too light. I'm just going to the teal shade that I have separately All right, now for the lightest pink shade out of this palette. It makes a little bit of white because that is very like fuchsia, like neon, not fuchsia, but neon. I need it to be a little lighter. I want it to be more like a powder pink. I gotta go back in between each color now and thicken them up a little bit to match what we just did because I made that pink a little too thick. Oh my gosh, that's cute. I'm gonna put a little purple here too. 
All right, let's go ahead and do the bottom. Just doing the same thing. I'm just packing those colors. Yeah, this lip this look is pretty much done. Let's tap at this lip. This lip pencil is freaking amazing. The key to getting a perfect pout lip is to sharpen your pencil to a very sharp point. Make sure you have a creamy lip pencil and make sure those lines are very crisp. But the only way to get those really crisp lines is if you're sharp, your pencil is very sharp and it's like coming to a point. All right, let's top this with a gloss. I'm gonna use a coconut water hydrating face mask. Okay, I said a little bit and I went overboard now. <laughs> this look is super cute. Thanks. All right, I'm gonna do my hair and I'll be right back. <laughs> this look is done. I wanna just did a quick style on this closure wig that I had. Something just loose curls, super cute. But this look came out absolutely gorgeous. We're gonna hit it in slow-mo for y'all at the end. But thank y'all so much for watching. I love y'all and I'll see y'all next time.